you how to create the abstract background using Photoshop. First off, we go to File, New, Preset 1024 times 76 h is what I'm using. Background Contents Transparent is selected. Push OK. Select Gradient Tool, making sure colors are at default. If not sure, just push D on keyboard and they'll be reset. Go up to mode, select difference, opacity 100%, just go nuts on the page next, just with the left click, click and drag, short lines, long lines in every direction to create a nice shade of shadow and light. We'll stop there, that's enough. Next we have to duplicate this layer. We go to layer. OK. Click. Name this one. OK. Next we go to filter. Distort. Wave. Add in these settings. Number of generators 1. Wavelength 10. Max 113. Amplitude minimum 1. Max 38, scale 100% and 100% for both. Undefined areas, repeat edge pixels. OK, should have something like that. Next, we have to go to Layers menu here, click on the tab, choose Lighten. Next bit here, by pressing Control E. We merge the two together. See how it's disappeared here? It's only the layer one there now. Next thing we do is we duplicate it again. Layer, duplicate. One, we'll name it again. Next we go to filter, blur, motion blur. Angle we'll have it at is 49 degrees, distance 10 pixels. Pushing OK. Then we do the same thing again. We go to the Layers menu, Lighten, and we merge it by pushing Control E on the keyboard. Then we duplicate it yet again. Layer, duplicate layer, name it one again. This time we go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then we go to Layers again, Lighten, and by pressing Control E, we merge the two together again. Then we go to Edit, sorry, Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. This menu pops up. Then we click Colorize. And then you just muck around choosing the appropriate colour you think looks good. I'll go with something like this. Whatever you like. Push OK. There you have it. That's how you create an abstract background using Photoshop.